this video, we'll discuss what fine tuning is and how we can take advantage of it when building and training our own artificial neural networks. Fine tuning is very closely linked with the term transfer learning. Transfer learning occurs when we use knowledge that was gained from solving one problem and then apply it to a new but related problem. For example, knowledge gained from learning to recognize cars could potentially be applied in a problem of recognizing trucks. Fine tuning is a way of applying or utilizing transfer learning. Specifically, fine tuning is a process that takes a model that's already been trained for a given task and then tuning or tweaking that model to make it perform a second similar task. Assuming the original task is similar to the new task, using an artificial neural network that's already been designed and trained allows us to take advantage of what the model has already learned without having to develop it from scratch. When building a model from scratch, we have to try many approaches in a type of trial and error sense. We have to choose how many layers we're using, what types of layers we're using, what order to put the layers in, how many nodes to include in each layer. We have to decide how much regularization to use, what learning rate to use, etc. So with this, it's easy to see that building and validating our own model can be a huge task in its own right, depending on what data we're training it on. That's what makes the fine-tuning approach so attractive. If we can find a trained model that's already done one task well, and that task is similar to ours in at least some remote way, then we can take advantage of everything that model has already learned and apply it to our specific task. Now, of course, if the two tasks are different, then there will be some information that the model has learned that may not apply to our new task, or there may be new information that the model needs to learn from the data regarding the new task that wasn't learned from the previous task. For example, a model trained on cars is not going to have ever seen a truck bed. So this feature is something new the model would have to learn about if we're going to be training it to recognize trucks. But think about everything else that our new model for recognizing trucks could use from the original model that was trained only on cars. This already trained model has learned to understand edges and shapes and textures, and more objectively, headlights, door handles, windshields, tires, etc. All of these learned features are definitely things we could benefit from in our new model for classifying trucks. So this sounds fantastic, right? But how do we actually technically implement this? So going back to the example we just mentioned, if we have a model that's already been trained to recognize cars and we want to fine tune this model to recognize trucks, we can first import our original model that was used on the cars problem. Then for simplicity purposes, let's say we remove just the last layer of this model. This last layer would have been previously the layer for classifying whether an image was a car or not. After removing this, we want to add a new layer back whose purpose is to classify whether an image is a truck or not. Now in some problems, we may want to remove more than just the last single layer, and we may want to add more than just one layer. This will depend on how similar the task is for each of the models, since layers at the end of our network may have learned features that are very specific to the original task at hand, where layers at the start of the network may have learned more general features like edges, shapes, and textures. So after we've modified the structure of the existing network, we then want to freeze the layers in our new model that came from the original model. By freezing, I mean that we don't want the weights for these layers to update whenever we train the model on our new data for our new task. We want to keep all of these weights the same as they were after being trained on the original task. We only want the weights in our new or modified layers to be updating. So after we do this, then all that's left is just to train the model on our new data. Again, during this training process, the weights from all the layers we kept from our original model are going to stay the same, and only the weights in our new layers will be updating. Now, if you want to see all of this in action, I have separate videos in my Keras playlist that will show you how to build a fine-tuned model, how to then train that model, and then use the model to predict on new data. Definitely check those out if you want to see the technical implementation of fine-tuning written in code. So hopefully now you have an idea about what fine tuning is and why you may want to use it in your own models. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.